it has not been necessary because uh, the, the, the traffic lanes for evacuees uh, have not gotten so congested uh, that contraflow needs to be done. As more Texas cities see evacuation orders, Governor Greg Abbott says TxDOT has no plans yet to make some highways one-way roads. It is something that is rarely done and takes a lot of coordination. KXAN traffic reporter Amanda Dugan looks at how it could affect roads leading into Austin. I've been in communication with TxDOT to figure out the agency's plan to help everyone evacuate safely. Contra flow. This is when vehicles travel in the opposite direction of a lane's normal traffic flow, so pretty much forcing all lanes out of town. Keep in mind, evacuation plans may or may not include activating contra flow lanes. Authorities also open the shoulder of the road as an additional lane of travel when this is in place. Now, if authorities decide to implement contra flow on 290 from Houston to Brenham, that could affect our stretch of 290 in Austin as many evacuees could just continue into Austin after the reverse flow ends in Brenham. This is something that also happens on I-10 from Houston to San Antonio. Now, if local authorities decide whether to put a contraflow plan in place, TxDOT, of course, is going to alert drivers through social media and also digital signs along the highway. And the last time contraflow was implemented in Houston was back in 2005 for Hurricane Rita. Amanda Dugan, KXA News. And the contraflow route would start in the Houston area and end in Brenham. From there, drivers can decide whether to continue into Austin, Waco, College Station, or Bryan.